Hello, everyone. Welcome to my random thoughts. Here, I'm going to be talking about conventions, conventions, conventions. First, I'll start with the past conventions, then I'll go into the conventions that I'm going to for the rest of the year. The first convention that I went to this year was Monster Mania 39. And I can tell you that's a complete shit show from start to finish. It was completely unorganized, no show, no hotel staff around. It was a fucking disaster. And to make matters worse, the fucking organizers on Facebook had me blocked on their Facebook page. They blocked my page and the Hard Chambers Twitter page as well, for good measure. Dave Hagen and those Fucking idiots over there do not deserve any of your money. Because this was nothing but a fucking cash grab. When you put a lineup like John Carpenter, Tim Curry, Richard Dreyfus, Elvira, Paul Rubin, the Eight Kids, and the Seven Jasons, you know there's probably going to be problems. And I didn't even mention Kathleen Turner or Ali Sheedy. It was horrible. Horrible. It's like, hey, let's fill up the hotel with big stars. Well, what happens when you fill up a small hotel with big stars is you have an overcrowded hotel where you can't move around. The autograph room was horrendous. You had to jump from line to line to line. It's like, Conventions are supposed to be fun, and this convention was not. It was horrible. I would never go back there again. Hell, I would even kind of boycott this convention because Monster Mania is not a horror convention. It's a wannabe Comic Con. And just look at their lineup for their next show. It looks like another Comic-Con type lineup. Well, let's move on to the second show, which I had a better time. New England Fan Fest. It's more of a wrestling convention, so I really don't want to get into it as much since this is a horror YouTube channel. So I just want to say it was... A good event. Small room, but what you have legends of wrestling there, so can't complain. It wasn't like Monster Mania. At least I could move around in the room, which was good. After that, let's just move on to the third convention. Scaracon New England. As you can see, I'm wearing the Scaracon New England hat. I am happy to be wearing this hat. Because this is, I think, the best convention of all the conventions I go to. The floor layout at the Framingham Sheridan Hotel and Conference Center was great. Everything from hotel staff to the people working there, great. The guests were very nice and personable, which was great. I had a little minor gripe with the panel room, but at least they listened to my concerns when I posted on Facebook. Unlike that other convention that blocked me for racing concerns. I highly recommend you check out this show in Verona, New York, the last weekend of October over at the Turning Stone Casino. You can go to www.scarecon.com for more information, as I don't believe this has been a lineup announced for that yet. Now let's move forward to the conventions I will be attending for the rest of the year. First up, we got CT Horror Fest over in Danbury, Connecticut. This will be my first time going to that convention, so it'll be an interesting one to say the least. 
At least it's in a hockey rink, so I can't complain that much. The major thing going on there is the Halloween 40th anniversary reunion, which I got VIP. So I can't wait for that to meet PJ Souls again because I met her at the first Scarecon New England. I'm also going to be delighted to meet Nick Castle and Nancy Loomis for the first time. As a, as I'm excited. it's I have a feeling it's going to be a great convention. If you're not into Halloween, they also have Bill Mosley coming over there. Pam Greer. Can't go wrong with that lineup. I'll go more into that when that convention is around the corner. So, the next is Rock and Shock. This will be my third year attending the convention. I'm hoping the convention this year, fingers crossed, was better than last year in terms of lineup, as I felt it was kind of weak for a Rock and Shock. You had. Where your headliners was just like Adam Green and The Walking Dead, which from the Rhode Island area where I'm from, it's nothing because Rhode Island Comic Con always does The Walking Dead every year. And they usually put on a good lineup there in the way of cast members attending. Unless if AMC decides to cancel them at the last minute. Which happened at last year's Rhode Island Comic Con. I have no lineup for Rock and Shock it, so I can't go into details. I'll probably go into it when it's around the corner. And finally, the one that I dub the big one, Rhode Island Comic Con. It's the craziest convention out of all of them I go to. I've been locked out one year. At that convention. So you can see why I call it the craziest convention. At least they gave me. At least they made good on their promises. In refunding me. Unlike. Those idiots and monster mania. Which. I don't care to be refunded. I really don't fucking care. At this point those people. I want nothing to do. With those people. Ever again. Because Cherry Hill was a total nightmare. But since I'm going way off topic, let's go back to Rhode Island Comic Con. This year, they usually, to put it in better words, they'll always have somewhat of a horror lineup, whether it's directly or indirectly. I've met people like Lisa Wilcox, uh, Meg Forster. Uh, Robert England last year at that convention. This year, as they have announced so far, Tim Curry, which I met at that fucking shit show known as Monster Mania 39, which was supposed to be the highlight of my time going there. But still, very nice guy, Tim Curry. You won't go wrong. He's really he, a gentleman. Also, on the guest list, horror-related, Jason Patrick's from the Lost Boys. Elvira, Mistress of the Dock. She was just at Scarecon, New England. Dee Schneider from Holliston in Strangeland. He was also at Scarecon, New England. Which reminds me, when I have a chance, maybe I'll do a photo montage of all the celebs I met, plus other hijinks I did at that convention. It, and, oh, of course, oh, forgot. The Walking Dead. They always have a Walking Dead lineup, which they have announced. Headlining the Walking Dead portion so far are Laurie Hoden from that show, and The Mist, and Stephen Young. If I... I apologize if I can't pronounce it right. But he was also in a really cool horror film recently called Mayhem. Directed by Joe Lynch. 
which you should definitely check out. It is very, very entertaining. If you're a fan of Office Space, 28 Days Later, those types of films, it's very entertaining. I highly recommend you check that film out. So that's pretty much it, the convention schedule this year. I hope to do previews and reactions afterwards of each of the three conventions that I go to here on the YouTube instead of the usual blog because I could write all day, but I feel like if, if, we're, if I'm going to do this more often, I feel like the preview show should be on YouTube instead of the blog. Gives you more of a sense of what's going on directly than trying to figure things out and write for periods of time trying to <laughs> I apologize for that. I try to let, I want to try to keep things real. I don't want to be like these other YouTube videos because I know everybody wants to be perfect, but hey, I just want th these videos to feel like it's coming from a horror fan than someone well, it's just posting YouTube videos so they can get make money off of on YouTube. Plus, we are all horror fans. So, I really want realism in these videos. I just don't want to be coming off as fake or anything. So, if you hear giggles and stuff, you can understand. So, I'm cracking up right now, so... Don't mind me. <laughs> I will probably do next video. Maybe a photo montage, like I said earlier, for Scarecon New England. Or I could do something else. It really depends on what I'm thinking at the moment. Or I could have another DVD collection up on the site. So, well... That is it for now. I you can view my blog over at thehorrorchamber.blogspot.com and you can find the social media pages in the descriptions. Thank you for checking this out and have a good day.